guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting a third project pan, which may be an awful idea considering I haven't actually been doing that well on my two anyway, but I got this idea and I got really excited about it and I was just like, I have to do it now, like I can't wait. So I was inspired by LS's Gilmore Girls pan. I loved that she took something that she enjoyed and kind of themed it around that. So I kind of took that idea and ran with it. It's my, it's like my version of a Gilmore Girls tag and that is my, or tag, Gilmore Girls pan but that is my Taylor Swift pan. So I am so excited for this. I love Taylor. I'm a huge Taylor fan. If you're not a Taylor fan and you're gonna leave hate on this video, please click off, click off because I love Taylor. She's a huge inspiration for me. For me, I've seen her, I think three times now, three? Yeah, that sounds right. Um, she's, I've just loved her since I was like 10 years old and I kind of wanted to theme a pan around her. I have a lot more ideas for panning as around Taylor Swift, so this may become like a series on my channel. Um, maybe it will, I don't know, we'll see. Um, this first one I'm calling it like my general Taylor Swift pan because I kind of just took ideas as they came and I didn't really focus too much on like, you know, I need a song from every album or whatever, I just kind of like, did what I felt like doing. Um, so this pan has 13 items in it, obviously, because 13 is Taylor's lucky number, and I would feel wrong if I didn't have 13 items in the pan. It's gonna start from today, today, or when this video goes up. Um, I'm filming this on August 2nd, but I don't know when this video is actually gonna be uploaded. But it's gonna go from today through December 16th, Taylor's birthday. I felt that was pretty, you know, I thought it was fitting. Um, so I'm super excited to share these I these items in my pan with you guys. This is kind of, I don't wanna say it's an easier pan, but a lot of these are minis or pulled over from other pans or are like half finished. So I kinda just wanted to give myself some gimme products for this just because I do have two other pans going on. But without further ado, let's jump in. So the first product in the pan is a red lipstick, of course. Taylor is famous for red lipstick. And for that, I picked this Lulma mini of the Sephora collection lip cream or cream lip stains in the color 01. Um, I just felt like this was a good red lipstick to try to pan because obviously I don't wear red lipstick all that often and I wanted something that was actually like possible for me to do so I picked out this little mini and I think I have no idea how much is left in this just because it is like caked along the sides. I've worn this maybe twice uh, so far, so this is a pretty full mini. But yes, that is my red lipstick for the pan. Next up, we have a product inspired by Taylor's glitter guitar. That is like, I don't know, when I think Taylor Swift and I think like old time Taylor Swift, it's like head of curls, red lipstick, and glitter guitar, or like glittery outfits. Like glitter is just like the way to go. I wanted to do like a snake product too, but I'm, I have so many ideas that I'm just gonna, I honestly am gonna have to have like another Taylor Swift pan because I have so many ideas for these. But I'm doing glitter guitar and for that, I have my little cover effects custom enhancer drops in Moonlight. So this isn't exactly glitter, it's just kind of shine. I didn't actually have glitter that I felt like I could realistically you know make a dent on in this so I picked this a little shiny sparkly product um, I'm not totally sure how I'm going to end up using this because I've said in a couple videos I don't love liquid or cream highlighters and this is a tad dark for me for a highlighter so I may put it in just a foundation that's a little light for me or put it under foundation for like a glow we'll see how I go um that is how much I have. I'll show you a picture with lines drawn, but that is the glitter guitar inspired product. Next up, we have Fearless, a product that makes you feel fearless, of course. For this one, I thought a lot, and I think a lot of things make me feel fearless as far as makeup goes. A bright lip, a bold eyeshadow, you know, those really make me, you know, feel like me. But I wanted something that I could realistically pan at the same time. I didn't want to pick like a hot pink, you know, lipstick when I already have a couple lipsticks in pre other pans or a bright blue eyeshadow because I'm never going to pan a bright blue eyeshadow. So I thought, what do those have in common? Like, what am I 
also wearing with those and I realized that would be like a bolder darker brow and in order to get a bolder darker brow I use my Anastasia dip brow pomades in taupe so this is already in my year-long project but I figured bold more in your face brows definitely make me feel more fearless I feel like definitely on days when I am going for a more subtle look or I don't really want to you know do too much I am definitely the kind who's putting like an eyeshadow through my brows really quickly not thinking about it and going with really natural makeup but if I'm gonna like do a look I'm doing brows so I think that's definitely a fearless kind of product because it sets up the rest of the face for those bolder products next up we have this is why we can't have nice things a broken product so I actually don't own that many products that are broken surprisingly um, so this was a little bit difficult for me to think of, but then I realized that a product that's already in a pan is broken, and that is my MAC Snob Lipstick. Um, you can't actually tell sometimes, but if you look closely, it's kind of just squashed onto the top of its packaging. It has broken off. I'm lucky enough that I have caught it every time it's broken, and it does have the tendency to like to bend when I'm putting it on. It is broken and it's also, um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but it's lined the edges of the tube. Like I forget because I use this so often now that most MAC lipsticks don't do that. Like most of them don't have like all of the product around the tube. This one does because it sat in my card and melted one day so it just looks all kind of messed up and then it's also off its little pedestal so yeah it's broken and uh, that's what I'm using for that part of the project. Next up we have Gorgeous, a beautifully packaged product. There were a couple products in my collection that I found way more beautiful than the one I'm using but I could not realistically realistically pan those and there was actually a part of me because some of them the beautiful packaging went into the beautiful product and I don't want to use up that product which is wrong it's not good but what I ended up going with was the Becca first light priming filter I love this packaging like this is like some of my favorite if it's just like one color packaging this is my favorite I always look at this and I'm like ooh, like the full size even it's just a gorgeous gorgeous color and it's like duo it's oh I like this a lot this is just a deluxe size sample of it so I felt like it was also realistic for me to try to pan um this how many ounces this is 0.2 fluid ounces so not that bad and I don't know I just the purple spoke to me next up we have style uh, a classic product or a product that you'll never get sick of kind of thing um, so I kind of went with the kind of classic product in the way that this is in my mind a very classic product also in the way that I really don't think I'm ever gonna get sick of this product and that is the naked palette so I decided I'm just gonna pick a shade out of my naked palette and go with it and I think the shade I could go with something easy like virgin that's just like the cream shade but I think I'm gonna go with toasted I have really been enjoying this recently and I think that if I try and incorporate it with a bunch of looks I could hit pan on that shade I obviously am trying to hit pan on the as much of the palette as possible before the end of the year but I think focusing on toasted will do me some good so this next one is we are never ever getting back together a product that you will not be repurchasing um, this may be stupid for me to do but I have my reasonings for this so I'm throwing in my naked basics palette this is the first one that I ever bought and I mean I have some use on it but definitely not a ton the reason I won't be repurchasing this is just because it's so basic that I really don't reach for it and I probably could like when I have those bolder palettes but I just find that I just reach for something else really quickly and I don't even think to use this. I also have the Naked Basics 2 so even if I were to use every single shade of this up I would just have the second one and there's no point in repurchasing it and I think I prefer the second one a little bit more to than this. I also am throwing this in this pan because I will be going to my Disney College program August 18th through January 3rd. I have to wear natural makeup to work every day. I can't be doing like fun glam eyes and these are matte subtle natural shades and I think this will be really good for me to just grab and go do a look really easily 
and still be able to keep my job. So I'm just going to be throwing this into the palette for the palette. Throwing this into the pan and seeing what happens. This one's kind of a funny one. This or It's kind of like a redundant one. It's red and it's a red product. So in any way you want to interpret that, I interpreted it with red nail polish. This is my favorite red nail polish. This is Deborah Lippmann's My Old Flame. This is, however, quite old and just something that I feel I should probably, you know, be trying to get out. I can't actually wear, you know, fun colors on my nails when I'm down in Disney. I will just be wearing like a pale pink every day, but I think I'm going to probably just bring this to put on my toes all the time, and I think if I only have one nail polish down with me, this one for my toes, I will get through it. The next one is I Knew You Were Trouble, uh, a product that had negative reviews, but you kind of ignored them and kept going. Um, basically, so this is my Milk Makeup Cooling Water. This is a little mini. I knew you were trouble. I kept it even though I was given it and I kind of have a feeling I wasn't gonna like it that much or rather I read some reviews and people were like no. The full size of this has decent reviews but the mini really doesn't and I don't really know why that is. Um, I This isn't, this, there isn't much on this at all which I think is why I'm also drawn to use it. Also I'm gonna be down in Florida. It's gonna be hot. I've read that this is pretty good to just cool your under eyes or just cool you off in general. I could really just like put this on my arms throughout the day if I get hot kind of thing. So I'm gonna bring this down. I've heard this kind of gets greasy. So I think I might end up just putting it on my arms because I'm kind of scared of putting it on my face. So we will see. Next up we have Bad Blood. So my initial reaction for this was to do like a product that betrayed you. And then I kind of took a spin on it and I decided I wanted to pick a Kat Von D product because, you know, I don't have very good blood with Kat Von D anymore. I think a lot of people have bad blood with Kat Von D now. So I felt like it was pretty fitting to pick one of her products. This is in one of my other pans. This is the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder in Translucent. I will give you a picture of where I am with this. I use this all, pretty much every time I do my makeup. Um, if I'm wearing liquid foundation, I need to set. It's a good powder. I will say it's a really good loose powder. I want it gone because I'm using up all of my Kat Von D products. So, bad blood. Next up we have 15, a product you loved when you were young. Uh, for this, I have decided to pull in another product from a different pan, and that is my Lady Gaga Viva Glam MAC lipstick. Um, I definitely loved this when I was 15. Yeah, I think I bought it when I was 15. How fitting. Um, so this is so old. That's really gross. Sorry. Um, I loved this when I first started getting into makeup. It still smells fine, y'all. Like, I don't really know why. I loved this. This was literally the only MAC lipstick I owned, and I wore it all the time, which is crazy to me now because it is so pink. And, like, this was just an everyday shade for me. Lord knows. But I will be trying to use that, that up as my 15 product. Next up, we have mine, an all-time favorite product. And for me, I'm going to try to finish off the last of my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This is one of my all-time favorite foundations, and I don't actually have that much left. I do just want to try to use this up. I do have my Jouer foundation in here, but I think if I, you know, just kind of go back and forth with those, I'll be good. I'm not bringing that many foundations down to Disney with me, so I don't think it'll be that hard if I don't have many other options to use. So I'm pretty excited to use this up and get a new one because I love this foundation. And the last product is Should Have Said No, a regret purchase. I was surprised that I don't own many products that I actually regret buying. I just recently did a declutter, literally like today, earlier today, so I'm not including any of those products, obviously. Um, but the product I picked isn't actually something that I necessarily truly regret buying, but it is definitely one that hasn't gotten much use in my collection, which has caused me to kind of regret it, and that is the Laura Geller Baked Highlighter in French Vanilla. It's not that there's anything wrong with this. I don't regret it because it's bad. I regret it because I really didn't need it, and at the time I was... I don't really wear subtle highlighters all that often. Like, I'm a pretty, like, in-your-face kind of highlighter person. Like, if I'm putting it on, like, you're gonna see it. So, the, in its way, I thought this was gonna be, like, absolutely beautiful. And I got that more from the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Highlight Powder, whatever it is. That was more what I expected this to be because I can 
that gives a gorgeous glow. This sometimes looks like nothing and I just didn't feel like I needed it. However, this is going to be great down in Disney and that is kind of also my mindset with this pan is, you know, Taylor Swift, but also stuff that'll be good that I can wear to work kind of thing. So I think I will be able to get some good use out of this. And I don't know, it's not that I completely regret it because there's not that much in my collection that I do like fully regret buying. I just did not need this. So yeah, that's my Taylor Swift pan. I am so excited to be starting this. I love Taylor. I love panning, even though it frustrates the hell out of me but I'm super excited. Comment down below if you have ideas for like a Taylor Swift panning ideas because I wanna do like a million of these. This is like my new favorite thing. I think themed pans are so fun because it's just really fun and creative and I don't know, it makes you think outside the box as far as panning goes, but I'm super excited. Comment down below if you wanna join in, that would be so much fun. Uh, but yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, all the normal stuff, and I'll see you guys again really soon.